In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the equation of a plane in three-dimensional space. Now, we're not going to get into a lot of the theory of where this equation comes from. We're going to cover some of those extra details in the next video if you care to watch them. This video is just going to cover the basics of what you need to know to write the equation of a plane. So what I want, what I'm after, is some equation that I can write down so that if, if I choose any x, y, z point that's in the plane, it will make the equation true, which is why it's plotted. And if you try any x, y, z point that's not in the uh, plane, then the equation won't be true. So I'm looking for some equation that's going to clarify what points are and are not in the plane. And it turns out to find this type of equation, you need two things to, to write this equation down. The first thing you need is a point in the plane. It doesn't matter what point it is, but some point that is in your plane. And the second thing you need is a vector that's normal to the plane. What normal means it meets it at a right angle, a 90 degree angle. Now why, again, we're not going to go into those details in this video. If you were curious about some of the extra theory of where this stuff comes from, I'd encourage you to watch our next video where I unpack some of this extra stuff. But if you have these two things, then you can write the equation of a plane down. It looks something like this. If your point that you're provided is, we'll call it x naught, y naught, z naught, we'll call it point P here. And the vector that's normal to the plane is the vector ABC. Then the equation of a plane that has that point with that particular normal vector is A times x minus x naught plus b times y minus y naught plus c times z minus z naught equals zero. Now take note of what which ones are constants and which ones are variables. The a, the b, and the c are numerical values. They're the part of the normal vector. And the x naught, y naught, and z naught are uh, constants as well. Um, that's the point in the plane. The x, the y, and the z will be variables. And it turns out that if you write your equation down this way, any point that is actually in the plane, like this guy or this guy or this guy, if you plug in their x, y, z values, it will equal zero. And if you plug in any x, y, z values that for points that are not in the plane, it will not equal zero. So it's a good litmus test to see which points are and are not in the plane. All right, let's take a look at something else real, real briefly here. Um, <clears throat> what I just showed you there uh, initially is what's called standard form. This is a, a pretty typical way of writing the equation of a plane, that, that format that equals zero that we just referenced. Sometimes, though, we'll write it in a slightly different form, and it's easy to get to this other form called general form. Here's all we're going to do. Uh, if you take the A, which is just a constant, and distribute it to x and x naught, b to y and y naught, and c to z and z naught. Then you have an ax, you have a by, and a cz, of course. Those have variables, the x, the y, and the z. But now think about it for a second. a times x naught is just a constant. b times y naught is just a constant, because b is a constant and y naught is a constant. And c times z naught is a constant. But a constant plus a constant plus a constant is just a new constant. And so if we take that uh, random constant, whatever that might be, and move it to the other side, we're just going to call that constant D. We're just going to give it a name. We don't even have to call it negative D because we moved it to the right hand side. It can be negative for all we care. And so we get this watered down simplified version or formula AX plus BY plus CZ equals D. That's what's called general form. So just make sure you know the difference between standard form and general form. General form is nice because it's more condensed. One of the downsides though is, uh, yes, you can see the normal vector ABC, but you can't quickly, well, I mean, it's not immediately evident what a point in the plane is unless you find an X, Y, and Z that satisfies the equation. All right. So um, in closing, let's just wrap up with this very simple example. Uh, let's write the equation of a plane that uh, contains the point 5, negative 8, 0, 
and the normal vector to the plane is the vector 2, negative 3, 9. So I'm going to recognize this as my ABC, and this point is going to be X0, Y0, Z0, and it's literally just fill in the blank. That's, that's literally all we're going to do. So I have A, or 2, times X minus 5, will have minus 3, that's my B value, times y plus 8, because that's minus negative 8. And then we'll have plus 9z, um, because it's z minus 0. So we'll just call it 9z equals 0. So this is how you write the plane in standard form. And if, just for the heck of it, you know, we're doing pretty good on time, let's just go ahead and write it in general form as well. So we'll distribute the two. Okay, let me do this in a different color so we don't get confused. We'll have 2x minus 10 minus 3y minus 24 plus 9z equals 0. We'll keep the 2x, we'll keep the minus 3y, we'll keep the plus 9z. We'll add 24 and add 10, so that'll be 34. And this is going to be general form, where this is the equation of the plane in standard form. So again, we did leave out some details in this video, like why on earth does this really give you the equation of a plane in space? I didn't cover those details, but that should at least be just kind of the, the basic necessity of what you need to know to write an equation of a plane in space.